Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here's an interesting problem. This is number 26 found on page 271. They're giving us a diagram with some given information, and they are asking us to prove that angle G is congruent to angle J. At first, it seems straightforward, and in actuality, it is somewhat straightforward, but I have to be very careful with the formal proof. The first thing that I'm going to start to do, or the first thing that I'm going to do, is I'm going to pull that diagram apart and make two triangles out of it. And so I have triangle GPL, GPL, and triangle JKM. And I'm going to label these new triangles with the appropriate congruent segments that are given in the diagram. Notice that we are given that GH is congruent to JH. We are also given in the diagram that HL is congruent to HM. We're given that GP is congruent to JK. And we're given that PM is congruent to LK. We have to be careful here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will go through the process of how I want to get. The claim is this angle is congruent to this angle. That's the claim. So I want to show that these two triangles are congruent to one another. Hmm. And I see that, oh, if I have this congruent segment GH plus another congruent segment, that would tell me that GL is congruent, GH is congruent to JH, HL is congruent to HM. That would tell me that J, pardon me, GL is congruent to JM, but I have to be careful in how I write that. You cannot add segments, you can only add numbers. Also, I noticed that segment PL is congruent to segment KM because PM is congruent to LK, and oh, ML is certainly congruent to ML. But again, I cannot add segments, I have to add lengths. So here's our formal proof for this statement here, angle G is congruent to angle J. First thing I'm going to do is going to write this given that GH is congruent to JH and HL is congruent to HM. That's given. I'm going to make the statement that GH is equal to JH and HL is equal to HM. That's the definition of congruent segments. If two segments are congruent, their lengths are equal. Segments are congruent, lengths are equal. I also know that GH plus HL is equal to GL. GH plus HL is equal to GL, sliding down a bit, and JH plus HM is equal to JM, and this is a theorem that we studied a bit ago. This is the segment addition postulate. Notice that I'm using the addition postulate that must be used with numbers. Now I can make the statement that GH plus HL is equal to JH plus HM, and I have this substitution. The reason why that substitution is I notice that GH is the same as JH. These two things are equal. I also notice that HL is equal to HM. Those two rascals are equal. So what I've done is I've substituted JH in for GH, and I've sub substituted HM in for HL, and that gives me this statement. Now I can make the statement that GL is equal to JM because of substitution as well. Once I have these 
numbers that are equal, I can make the statement that segment GL is congruent to segment JM because of the definition of congruent segments. Congruent segments have the same length. I'm going to use this statement down the road. In like manner, I have PM is congruent to segment PM is congruent to segment KL. That's given. And I can make the statement that PM is equal to KL, definition of congruent segments. Again, if I notice on my diagram, PM plus ML is equal to PL because of segment addition postulate. And ML plus LK is equal to MK because of the segment addition postulate. So I can make these two statements because of the segment addition postulate. Now I can make the statement that PM plus ML is equal to ML plus KL because of substitution. I'm going to make, take this statement right here or this fact. I'm going to put it in for PM here. And that tells me that PM plus ML is equal to ML plus KL. And I wrote it in this order so that I can make the direct statement that PL, PM plus ML is PL, ML plus KL is PK because of the segment addition postulate. That tells me segment PL is congruent to segment MK. So that's the second statement that I'm going to use. And I've had, well, I've used lots of statements. I have this statement about two congruent segments. I have this statement about two congruent segments. And the final statement that I'm going to use about two congruent statements is given in the diagram. GP is congruent to JK. Oh, so now I have two sides of a triangle congruent. Two more corresponding sides of a triangle congruent. Another pair of congruent sides congruent. Oh, and now I'm going to use these three statements. I just rewrote two statements from above. And I can make the statement that triangle JLP is congruent to triangle JMK because of the side, side, side theorem. Oh, and now I can make the statement that angle G is congruent to angle J because congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. I would ask that you read through or listen to this video a couple times. And maybe I would not ask you to recreate a proof of this nature, but at the very least, could you fill in the blanks of some statements and some reasons? Thank you very much.